What is up everybody, Scape211 here, and it is time. It is time to finally talk about pilots. I haven't really been able to say anything until they told us it was time to, but you guys are probably already getting wind of this, right? You've seen some of the partners, some of our footage, some of us have been using the pilots, even though we can't talk about them, and you can see the OP gameplay. Now for this video, I'm not really gonna get into the ins and outs too much on pilots. I'm gonna glaze over that because I'm gonna be doing a basics video where I go over that and what I think is probably the best avenue for those who are free to play, those who want to pay some money and those who are whales all that kind of stuff but for right now i'm gonna try to just focus on the idea of like my review of pilots all right as you can see already like from my footage and from the other guy some of the other guys it's insane all right i had a video where i just you know apart from using all the new stuff i wanted to just show you pilots where i took an epic or i'm sorry a legendary pilot with the shadow and auto cannons fours uh against another live player one of the other um you know guys that got matched up to one of the other partners on the live server and even though i lost that match with auto cannon fours i mvp'd and almost got a godlike it's crazy that that should even be possible auto cannon fours are a terrible weapon all right we jokingly use auto cannons on my live stream just for silliness they're pea shooters you shouldn't be able to do that and that's the insane part of pilots right now all right so i'm in my hangar and i'm gonna try to do this with blue stacks i haven't really done this with a camera with blue stacks so i'm gonna try it differently but you can see i got an array of pilots set up right now okay i have some that are rare some that are uh epic and then the legendary one that they have now um i'm gonna say here too so if we go into it uh, without going into too much detail, I'm just going to say here's all of our pilots. You can see each of them are categorized for their um, different weapon sets that they use. They will specialize in that weapon set, just basically adding damage to it, but they also add damage in general and HP in general to your mech. Just these stats alone, like let's even take just this rare guy and look at his stats. Not even looking at these things, these first three sets right here. Where we look at the HP, the weapon damage, the sniper damage already, even on a rare guy, for me, is too high, all right? I would think this should be somewhere between 5 and 10% for, like, each one of these. Maybe even total, gosh. I mean, like, to have this much that you're boosting when you max just a rare one to be, like, doing that much is insane. And then you add implants on top of that, all right? That's where all of this just gets nuts and bonkers, all right? Just this guy alone as a rare and one where I'm using the Gauss rifle, you know, you're already doing a boosted 50% damage. And, um, you know, I had a video that I did. I didn't show this one, but where I got, like, uh, a godlike and 14 kills or something like that in CPC with the Lancer and the Gauss rifle. I know I did one before, and that was just a godlike without the pilot. But when you add the pilot, it's even crazier and easier to do that kind of stuff. All right? Um, same thing for a lot of these other builds. I'm going to go back and just look at some of these other ones. Like this guy here, G-Lock, is going to be a crazy one, okay? So, again, if you look at the mech HP, the damage, and the close quarters damage already, those, are, again, are even higher because this guy's an epic. That's insane. 25, 25, and then 23 for those is nuts. And then you add something specific, all right? And this guy, I have it set up for the arc turret damage. Now, some of you guys already saw some other people, their footage. Arc turrets, when you boost their damage, but more importantly, with these and the shotguns, when you're able to boost their range like you can with this, the range, 66% on this, means that the arc turrets can reach 60 meters. That is bonkers, guys. Like, this is insane. Arc turrets that can reach 60 meters mean you can successfully get to mid game with a close range weapon. Arc turrets are super powerful, and to be able to reach to 60 meters just blows my mind. I can't believe that they're doing this and they're allowing this to happen, okay? Um, so yeah, I mean, the so much about this is just insane. And like I said, I'm, I'm not gonna dive in too crazy. Um, I have some with this that are, are nuts. Uh, I did this with Brickhouse. He got like 25, 26 kills, something like that in a in a, a tournament that I did. Um, and uh, then we have, yeah, we have the, the legendary, okay? So I didn't go nuts with this one, but holy cow, like, Boosting HP 40%, damage 40%, and then assault weapons 30%, again, out of bag, before you even add in his four, four implant slots, he's already doing that much boosting. This is nuts. This is way over the top. I put this guy on an Ares and did a CPC, and I feel like I just casually strolled into, like, the enemy territory, and I was just, like, killing guys left and right. It is... 
It's just nuts, guys. I can't believe they're doing all this kind of stuff. And then, of course, as you add other guys like Stalker for other things, uh, I tried it with this, um, this pilot here. Again, doing the same kind of thing, 25, 25, 23, but with rocket mortars, boosting the damage and the radius of the rocket mortar blast. Putting this, again, I put it on Stalker because I think he's going to be great for rocket mortars, but especially with this kind of setup, and it's, it's just insane. The amount of extra damage you're doing and with the extra radius of the damage and then extra damage from the, the Stalker Predator Drive that I have set up on this one. I actually, even when I recorded this one, I uh, lost like the beginning of the second match because like not not that I lost it. I mean, I played the first match. I had a weird issue with blue stacks, had to fix it. And then it brought me back into the second round. And I still got a godlike in the second round, even though I dropped out of the round, came back in and still got like 23 kills total. Like it's it, I don't I don't understand how this is happening with the game, all right? We went from like zero to 60. All right, so a lot of you are probably thinking, so what, Scape? I mean, we're all gonna have access to these pilots. They already said it's free to play friendly, right? Well, to a certain degree, all right? There are certain things that you can do that are free to play, but as you start going through this process, you'll start to see how expensive this is. And we're just gonna take an example, all right? And let's go with the middle of the road. Let's pick epic stuff. All right, the free or the rare stuff is probably too cheap and not really good for long term. The legendary stuff might be a little bit out of your pay grade. So let's take middle of the road and go epic. All right. So first of all, if we go and we look at our um, pilots here, our epic pilots, these ones are not too bad. So I already have all of them. Um, they give it to us on the test server. But if you were to buy one of these epic pilots, it's about a thousand A coins, a thousand forty to be exact. All right. So you're already going to spend that to get the pilot. Then you can naturally upgrade it. You'll probably get to like three to four stars like with it just as you're playing, which isn't bad. The last couple stars can take more time, more resources, but the real issue here is going to be the implants. All right. So um, let's go and look at these implants. So if I look at this guy that I have, um, I have maybe this implant. Here's an epic one that I have on him that I want to focus on an upgrade. And what you use is this function called scrap that they have, where you basically take different implants that you aren't using using scrap them and then you are able to you know put those toward this kind of stuff okay so to get ones that you would want to use or even scrap you would go to the shop so let's go into the shop and then you can see we'll back out of all this stuff and then we'll go to the pilot shop and you'll see what all this looks like. Now, here is where you can buy different implants and you'll see that they do actually have legendary ones that pop up in the shop and those are 3000 and then the epic ones are about 1000, 1200 to be exact. So if you wanna get your pilot and then get three good implants for it, you're about 4000, maybe a little bit more like 4,500 uh, acoins in the hole. But that's just your acoin cost to get it. Now you need to upgrade it, that scrap stuff, all right? To do that for just one of these implants, plants right when we go back to our guy that we had up there let's go back to uh what's his name there yeti and we look at that one this one here um this this upgrade just goes up in increments right we start at 250 we get one level which is nice you don't have to do all that stuff in between it keeps going up and by the end of it you need enough scrap to cover what is the equivalent of three million credits all right so it takes three million credits to max out one epic implant, all right? This isn't all three implants, this is just one epic implant. That's buying Brick House three times over to max out one epic implant. It's not even a legendary one, it's just an epic one. Now again, you're doing that uh, those three times, or no, wait, you're doing that three times, and then um, the total for doing it on one guy, if you wanted to have one epic pilot, with three epic implants, you're spending about close to in the neighborhood of 10 million, right? It's gonna be uh, about 10 million. It's like 9.9 .9 something that you're spending. Now again though, that is just one pilot. <laughs> That's one pilot. You're spending about 10 million on one epic middle of the road pilot to maximize it and all of its, well really not even maximizing it, but all of its implants, all right? 10 million worth of credits. Then you got to do that for your four other pilots. And you're going to want to go epic or better because the rare ones aren't that great um, unless you have to specialize for just the rare ones that are for those weapon types. But 
it is crazy to me how expensive that is. And you have to think about how long it's going to take you as a free to play player to be able to get that amount of credits just for one implant and then do it for all of your implants, then for all of your pilots in your hangar to have a full hangar. And that's not even getting all into the other ins and outs of how you switch implants and all that kind of stuff. Like that's even more bonkers. And it, it, it ends up as even more currency and credits that you need to worry about um, if you want to play with your hangar a lot. Because guys, look at this. I mean, it's just crazy to me. It just seems like it's going to be way too much currency currency. Uh, and like I said, I'm not going to go into all the details, but you're already starting to get an idea of how expensive this is going to be. And here's the thing, and I hate comparing this to War Robots because this isn't War Robots, but let's be honest, there's a lot of similarities and there's a lot of people who came over from War, Ro War Robots to play this game. All right. So it deems being compared to. Now, when they implemented pilots, they did far less stats. I don't exactly know how the upgrade process was or how you got them, because I wasn't there, but I know that the stats were way less. But then they added other things like modules and um, drones and everything that just added more increase to it to get more bloated stats. But Mech Arena is doing it just with the pilots all at once. And it just means that the gap right now is gonna be way bigger between free to play and paying players. And it's gonna be that way for, for a little a while it's not like here's a little bit of a gap and it just kind of gradually goes as we add stuff it just feels huge already all right so those that are whales are gonna pay and those that are free to play are gonna spend months to catch up already with their hangers and then also with all this pilot stuff it's just way too much stuff I think that you're gonna have to spend on to upgrade and here's the other thing that makes me worried okay remember when they messed with our hangers where they took away dual copies and increased the energy a lot of people were upset about that because it felt like they were nerfing stuff or changing stuff if they feel that what they're doing with this stuff right now with pilots is too OP which I think it is I think it's a little too over the top and they then um, after people spend money on it uh, nerf all of it this is gonna start to feel like what they have I've done at War Robots, where they release OP stuff and then nerf it for more OP stuff to come into the game. I don't think a lot of people are going to be happy about this, so it makes me worried about where they're going to go. Are they going to try to fix the OP stuff and make people mad, or are they going to leave the OP stuff as it is and people will be mad? <laughs> I think no matter what they do in this scenario, this is just, I don't know. I don't know what the thought process was for releasing it this way. I worry about the state of the game with this. Now, of course, we'll have to see how the meta is. Maybe I'm going way overboard without seeing how this actually ends up in the player's hands, but this is my initial reaction and how I felt with the whole process in testing it. We also have to remember too, guys, that the AI, even you saw in our clips and different stuff, the AI also have pilots. So if you're a free to play player and you're getting like maybe the baseline of pilots or you're not even using them because you don't want to waste your resources on them yet, you're going to have to fight AI with pilots. So all right, I just feel like there's a lot of issues doing this right now. Um, and especially after introducing all these new mechs and weapons and stuff that they have been doing. So I don't know what you guys think about all this. I don't want to ramble anymore. I feel like I've been talking for a long time, but I want to hear your thoughts on what, you know, we have seen so far initially on pilots uh, and what you think is going to be the state of the game. I don't mean to be a downer on all of this. Maybe you guys are excited for good reason, and I'd love to hear those reasons too. Um, I'm just worried about what this is going to mean for the game. So just wanted to speak my piece. I hope that was helpful and uh, something you guys, you know, can possibly enjoy <laughs> i hope it's going to be enjoyable but yeah with all that said guys we will see you out there on the battlefield